In this video we're going to unbox, install, and review a combination bumper brush guard accessory that will both physically and cosmetically protect the front end of your John Deere lawn tractor. So don't put that expensive plastic hood at risk. The solution is coming up right now here on Shop Tales and Lore. If you're a serious do-it-yourselfer or home workshop enthusiast looking for a variety of helpful content in one place, hit that subscribe button and ring the bell to be notified whenever we release a new video. And if we've helped you today, please take a moment to like, share, and comment below. It helps these videos reach more folks and your comments help others as well. Thanks again. We recently took delivery on this new John Deere X370. We'll be doing a comprehensive review and test report on the tractor itself, but initially wanted to focus on some key accessories. As I kept gazing out over that large mass of plastic hood, I realized that, much like my folks Lincolns back in the 70s, it's hard to judge just where the front end, well, ends. So I started looking at accessory bumpers. Now we got along fine for over 20 years with this low profile bumper on our old MTD rider, but a key difference is that the grill and hood on that mower are steel, not plastic, and could tolerate minor impacts and run-ins with low tree branches. Not so with these newer tractors, whose plastic hoods are exposed everywhere on all sides. With even aftermarket replacement hoods priced starting around 400 bucks, it was kind of a no-brainer to put as much protection out in front of this new tractor as possible. Depending on the specific tractor model, there's an assortment of options out there from both John Deere and aftermarket suppliers, but I kept coming back to this tall profile model. From the photos I saw online, it seemed to protect the entire nose of the tractor. It's a genuine OEM Deere accessory, part number BM. 23057. It's designed to fit the X300 and X500 series machines and a few others as well. I found it on Amazon for about $160. I'll put a link in the description. It seems really well built with solid neat welds and heavier gauge materials than I would have expected at this price point. The kit includes the guard itself, a pivot rod with two clevis pins, two spacer bushings, and two 8mm bolts with flange nuts. This particular example was probably a return, since the hardware was not packaged but was loose in the box with one of the nuts missing. But a quick trip to the hardware store remedied that. To install, I positioned the guard in place and attached it to the tractor with the pivot rod and the split R-clips. Then I just held the guard upright while installing the bolts, bushings, and nuts. You may find it easier to position the bushings with the guard in more of a horizontal position and the rod removed, but either technique will work. Be sure that each nut seats against the shoulder of the bushing. The guard should be able to freely pivot after the nuts are fully tightened. This sheet metal shield makes it a little difficult to get the bolts in place, but they must be inserted from the inside surfaces of the guard's lower arms, as shown here. If you insert them from the outside, the shank of the bolt bottoms out on the shield and you won't be able to tighten the nuts. Finally, just reinstall the pivot rod and the split R-pins that hold the rod in place, and you've got a functional accessory that not only protects the front of the tractor, but it's not bad looking either. When in use, in order to get access under the hood, the pivot rod must be removed and the guard lowered as shown here. Some might consider this a drawback, but when you factor in the solid protection provided by the guard, I'd call it more of a minor inconvenience. Thanks for watching. Be sure to check out these videos and the links in the description for a wide variety of DIY and home workshop content.